You vindictive son of a bitch. The best thing for the firm is me. I'm the best thing this firm has, and you fucking know it. This is fucking ribbon. What, are you crazy? No. I'm just marking my territory. You're in the Delete Podcast. We're calling this the War on Summer Blockbusters. I'm Matt Derson. And I'm John Hunt, in the flesh. Yes, welcome back. Thank you. Clay Inferno here. Well, welcome back to you too. Clay, I mean, Clay and I have been talking over on the What We Do in the Shadows podcast, but this is the first time in a while John Hunt is back. Welcome back. Yeah, and, uh, had, uh, welcome had, some, back. had some stuff going on that prevented me from podcasting. I was kind of sick for a bit and uh, had some other issues. But here we are, back to talk about nonsense, because that's what you do after you have like an experience like that health crisis. You know, yeah, I, like, I remember seeing. Yeah. I remember seeing uh, someone on Graham Norton once talking about. Uh, he's like, once I start, like, who had a near death experience, and he's like, once I started, you know, I wasn't thinking about, oh my god, these trees are beautiful, and once I started just thinking about dumb stuff, that's how I knew I was better. So <laughs> that's how I know I'm I'm doing better. Wow, that is so good. Stuff. That that I can apply that to my life recently too. I would say. I think yeah. I think it's uh, words to live by. Whoever said that yeah. thing, and uh, I'm, I was paraphrasing because I saw that so long ago. So, but yeah, you you can just you know take it and use it if you want, you know. But it's good. It's good advice. Yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. And here we are. It's it's. I call this like late summer. It's already August. Summer's going fast. <laughs> um, it's very. It's it's still hot, but I mean, I don't know. Like I always. For me, I'm gearing up for schools, you know, to start because I have to do all this bullshit to get ready for school and everything. And so it's like I didn't it's know a weird still time. In school. Yeah, I know. I I'm like happy. No, uh, what was Billy Madison? That was yeah, the one, right? Billy Madison. Yes. Yeah. I, I was thinking about we got the strike going on. I was reading this article about Christopher Nolan, and it was talking about Oppenheimer and. Like, is Oppenheimer kind of like maybe signaling or not signaling or, or the cause of it, but is kind of signaling maybe is the word, the end of like the superhero era of comics and oh no, of movies. movies. Why did I say comics? Yes, movies. Oh. And then also it's possible that like you can make the argument that the Dark Knight in 2008 kind of started that whole thing. So it's almost like a Christopher Nolan maybe sort of bookended the whole thing and I just, it got me thinking, um, you know, yeah, I am. And also, uh, you know what? Um, I, I have to do it. You said it, you set it up for me where I have to mention it now, uh, over on our sub stacks, we just talked about the dark Knight and yes. the 15th anniversary of that, uh, in the Alfred letters. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. check it out. Clay Inferno. Yeah. Substack.com. Substack.com. We talk a lot about Christopher Nolan and what he has going on. I haven't seen Oppenheimer. Did you see it? You said you were going to see it in 70 mil. I did see it in 70 mil. It, I mean, it's good. It's, you know, it's, I don't know if it needs to be that long, but, you know, these historical epics, right? Like, they always have to be super long. So, but, I mean, it's good to see people go into the theater, whether they're seeing that or they're seeing Barbie, and some people are seeing Barbieheimer, right? It was, like, both of them. Yeah. Or whatever. Apparently that, new Nin- <laughs> Apparently that new Ninja Turtles movie is, is actually really good. The reviews are like ridiculous. It's got like 92% on Rotten Tomatoes or something like that. So I don't know. Go see that too, I guess. And as a follow up to our previous 2023 blockbuster summer episode, um, and something I know John was said he was going to try to maybe see. I, don't, I know you've been sick, so I don't know you haven't seen it, but um, I have not seen but, it. But the in Mission Impossible movie, that was the one that I picked when I could have gone to see Barbie or Oppenheimer or whatever. That like that was the one I was like, you know what? I think that the most fun that I will have, just me personally, in the summer, if I see one movie this summer or whatever, like I, it's gonna be that one. And I'm glad that I saw it because I, I was kind of <laughs> feeling like Oppenheimer would be like a little bit like uh, a little bit too heavy. And I still want to see it in the theater and everything, but I was like, I need to get the Mission Impossible out of the way. The, I mean, sure, Oppenheimer, just because he shot it that way, but I don't, I don't think it needs to be, you know, like seen on a big screen. But yeah, know, but in the movies, Nolan like Christopher wants, Nolan movies, you right. kind of want to see them. 
big, you know, just like a Tarantino yeah. movie. You want to see it in the theater. Yeah, say you no, saw absolutely. It's to say you saw it. It's to say you did. Well, I guess that's why we do it. any of these things. I could say it. Doesn't mean I actually did it. I remember mm-hmm. Chi said that to me. He's like, you should go see that Transformers movie just to say you saw it. And I was like, I can do that without seeing the movie. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, Not you the should... kind of Transformers, whatever, like way back when Transformers. Right. Not right. Second little... one. These, yeah, I know. People that used to be a thing a lot, though, I feel like back in when this is kind of what I want to get into. So I'm glad. But yeah, like that used to be a thing back in the like, oh, you should you should go see it. Or and somebody would say, oh, I want to go see it just to say I saw it. And I'm like, well, what's the difference? What are you gonna yeah, I thought about like, that the other like day? Like a eulogy yeah, or something. Yeah. Like, I was he thinking went about, and saw yeah. mission. I used to go see all sorts of bands and stuff. And I can go, well, I can say I saw them. And I don't even remember half of who I saw. <laughs> you know. <laughs> And it's always it seemed like we were really into that stuff back then. I don't know what yeah, happened. Well, we were young and didn't have anything else going on. There I was guess no internet did. either. So And there also yeah, wasn't right. like there wasn't like a thousand options on your T V at home. Like, you know, right. you'd have to really love a movie because you'd seen it to buy it on D V D. Right. Or that yeah, like sure. maybe because we're old. Yeah, or maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. you saw Goodfellas on TV on HBO or something. You're like, oh, I really want to have that DVD or whatever. You know, right. like I don't know. Right. It, it was just different because there was so much. There's so much now. Now it's kind of now. like um, it's it's a post pandemic thing, but also just like a movie house that my mom always used to call it the movie house. Went to the movie house. She never. The last movie oh. she saw was Teachers in 1982. That's pretty <laughs> <God>. <laughs> But but like but the movie house thing is kind of now it's kind of like oh like this is a fun thing we can do with our friends still it's a regular thing it's like things pe- you know it's not inherently like political it's but it's going out and even like when you could start to go out after the pandemic you're like sitting six feet away from people and you have your mask on and stuff it's like at least right. I went out and I saw you know it's like well, I went out and saw on my birthday in the height of the pandemic, New Mutants. It was a terrible fucking movie, but I was glad that I went, you know? <laughs> it, was, it gave me something to yeah, do. Yeah, I mean, back then, it was... it was, it was But, I, like, if, if you want to go... Way, I'm thinking going way back, right? Like, you saw, like, movies maybe a couple times in one summer because, like, oh, it was so good. Or you went with this movies friend group, to, now you're going with this used friend to run group. longer because it wasn't yeah. all about the opening weekend. So, and there weren't as many theaters, so there weren't as many showings. So movies just stayed in theaters longer than they do now. Yeah, and they were cheaper. So That's for sure. Yeah. I was thinking about the summer uh, that I worked at the Cameo Theater. Uh, in, so we're going back to 1994. Four, right? Ooh, uh, 1994 yeah. exoticness. Monkey, yeah. monkey wrench in the system. Yeah, yeah. Um, monkey uh, wrench in the. I did some research. In, in fact, a lot of big movies that summer that we saw a lot. Not necessarily big movies, like historically, <laughs> but <laughs> the, like the, the Crow was, that. Um, was one we saw a lot. But and, yeah. and oh, Jurassic, love that movie. Jurassic Park was the big one that. Uh, not, like, the funny thing is it was released the summer before uh, and it was still making money a year later so yeah, i'm seeing so lion cool. king for 94 I, I on just a list of like yeah. one movie every every year like it says lion king for 94. yeah that was probably for the for i'm just maybe they're going by total gross by this thing i mean lion king obviously made a shitload of money and i remember that one too that is like Stacy's absolutely like her favorite movie, like her Desert Island movie is Lion King. Mm. She falls asleep to Lion King every day of the week. Wow. I used to, because uh, I used to have to go and like pick up the theater, like pick up the popcorn book bags and stuff. And that Elton John song was always be playing because no one stuck around for the credits back then. So people would just leave. And I'd, so I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go clean the theater. And they keep the music playing and everything. And I'm like, oh, this song is driving me nuts. Which which one? The Circle of Life. Can one? you feel the love, love tonight? tonight? Yeah, not that one. Like um, my, my cat now does this thing. When she um, when she plays with her like this little feather toy, she then puts it in her mouth and then, like sort of like, prances out the door <laughs> and will like run down the stairs and then drop it at the bottom of the stairs. But it reminds me of the part where they're all walking across the log singing Akuna Matata or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, like The Lion King was the big one that year. But I didn't I never went to the theater to see it. 
but in fact, oh, it's, I did. I was lucky oh, enough to go nice. to the theater to see it and uh, Forrest Gump with the same person. Forrest Gump. I remember that one. I saw that with. Oh, that's a great somebody. movie. Yeah, that was one of the ones we were just. I went to see that. I think to say I, to say I did. Because, well, look at um, it. now. You can talk about it thirty years later. Exactly. I'm glad I saw it. No, yes. because my brother was really into it. He loved. He loved. It. He thought it was great. And I hadn't seen it, but I had seen the commercials, and I'm like, that ah, movie looks kind of dumb. And uh, I, I was right. It was. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> the best thing I got out of it is that uh, we, uh, this is uh, Elder and I often make jokes of like I have to go pee and then JFK is like I believe he said he had to go pee and uh, yeah and the other thing he's like and then I went and saw the president again so we often will say <laughs> I have to go do this again that's really all I remember about the movie I guess I guess there are some parts uh, the Viet when he's in Vietnam or whatever that was kind of. Uh, that was kind of interesting, but the running, you're like when he runs, yes. like around the, like back and forth across the country, like 50 times, and invents the fucking happy face. Even though we know that was an invented, that was invented in Worcester, North Dakota. Naturally, yeah. But well, also, I remember Gary Sinise having like very big energy at that time they were like this guy's going to be the yeah. biggest actor ever yeah. he was in like everything well it was everybody was talking about like oh because like they did computer animation you know they 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 digitally erased his legs because he was you know he was supposed to have them blown off and like putting him next to the presidents and all that stuff i it was actually on tv recently how far as gump and i was like oh i mean it, it was cool in 1994 it really doesn't, it doesn't hold, hold up it. now yeah but it was cool the thing i really wanted to bring up though not just was eraser with uh james coburn in it <laughs> james we coburn. saw that we saw that that year too yeah co-starring arnold, arnold yeah and arnold schwarzenegger yeah uh but i had passes that was like the big thing i guess because i had movie passes with the theater through the theater I worked at, and you can go to the other theater that the sister. Oh, theater. nice! So we What's spend, the sister theater? It was the Dakota? Harbor Light Mall Theater, which is which is now no gone. longer around. That's where Mrs. Elder and I went on our first date. Oh. So, is it in, in 1994, Hall? we went there and uh, saw the mask. Oh no shit! Yeah. Uh, no, it was it's, it's in Weymouth, North Dakota. Oh, I see. So here's, but I remember um, going to that. You theater. saw mask or the mask. The and a big difference. Okay. Yeah, the mask. That Jim Carrey, man. Boy, that guy. Never happened to him, huh? I saw the mask that summer as well. But I was, I did. You did go to Harbor Lights with us once, Clay. We, a big group okay. of our friends. Did, was that Wolf? Yeah. We saw oh. Wolf with oh, Jack yeah. Nicholson. <laughs> Which is. So terrible. fill me in on uh, what oh, happened because, I, of course, I don't remember. It, I don't remember the whole group, but it was a. I remember a big group of people, and you were sitting next to me. Did I try you know. anything funny? <laughs> no, you were still dating my sister then. So. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you you probably were. Yeah. So you tried something funny with me to kind of get things smoothed over with her. Bridge the gap. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, there was a Taco Bell in the parking lot. I think. Oh, like yes. Taco Is Bell? this a good Taco Bell story? Not the good talk about oh, story, but I just okay. remember. I think there must have been about twenty minutes or so left in the movie, and you just, you turned to me and you said, "Jerson, this movie sucks. I'm going to Taco Bell." <laughs> and <you're laughs> and oh, I don't know so, where that's that... so Clay Inferno. Oh, uh, that's not even Clay Inferno. That's Clay Inferno High School right there. That's classic. <laughs> we were Clay obsessed with Taco school. Bell. You were right. The movie sucked, but yeah, uh, it was terrible. And I saw and. Who, my date was the same person I saw Forrest Gump and Lion King with. And Clay also had a tryst with her. So, Oh, my goodness. A little short. Five her foot. name was Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny. I think we used to, obviously, I was going to bring this up as well. John had, a, we used to walk out of movies a lot more. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is, I'm not going to waste my time on a movie that's terrible. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, I, and uh, if you can go to another theater or yeah, go to a Taco Bell, I mean, yeah. fuck yeah, yeah. you got a choice of another movie Class. or some Taco Bell. You got you got to do that instead. No, I mean, you're right. I, I can I just wish I don't know. I should have just gone with you. I don't know. I just like well, I guess I want to see how it ends so I can tell everybody. I yeah. Saw and it. how did it end? 
I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing. And so I just that's remember what, there was some like, really poor day for night shots in that movie. I don't remember anything. It about was that movie. obvious that he was running around at like three in the afternoon, and they just put a blue filter. <laughs> I only remember one part. Um, Repeats. Yeah, where he pees That's on the only with part Niles. I, Niles yeah. from Frasier was yeah. like, oh no, maybe it wasn't him, but it, he pees on some guy, and he says, "What are you doing?" And he says, "I'm marking my territory." Yeah, and that was, I remember that and the other thing, and that's it. The bad shots. I don't yeah. even remember anything. I, but yeah, I don't remember how it ends. I could have gone. I mean, not that I would remember the burrito or whatever I got. <laughs> but you would remember going over there. Yeah. I mean, I remember you just getting out, just getting up and running away. I think I felt, too, like we were in a group, and this is – I got to stick with this group. Well, you probably rode with me. and That's right. classic Derson right there. You have to be uh, kind of – Roping everybody, like making sure everybody's together. And why are you doing your own thing? Why are you sitting over there? I'm <laughs> over here. Sit with us. That would be a classic person thing. I suppose it would. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, we were all younger and, and just, you know, I think that we went to the movies a lot. I, I saw that movie on cable and was like, I think I remember seeing this movie at the movie theater. Should I watch this? <laughs> and I'm so glad that as I'm. As you, as you were thinking about it, you're like, I'm Jones and for Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah i remember that he was like he worked in like some office that's like this famous like kind of building that's i don't know they they i think they shoot a lot of movies there like they shot like uh 30 days of summer there and then they shot like a justin timberlake video there where it's like a big open very like kind of brassy kind of thing uh, anyways it's just the place they shoot a lot of movies at that's all, all right. i remember i remember nothing else except and Martin, it's not Martin like Martin really Sarah a Wolfman Martin. movie, really. It's like no, not that. Right. He didn't. Yeah, he like gave him like some fangs, and then they're like, "You're a wolf now." Well, he's peeing on people. Like, was okay. Michelle Pfeiffer in that movie? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, maybe it's I'm not just... a high. I'm, I, I looked up like some of the higher grossing movies. That's why I was like, "Oh, that's why that movie popped on my radar here," because I'm on Box Office Mojo. Oh, good old Box Office Mojo. Yeah. Get your mojo working. But there were some bad movies. Dennis the Menace was, is on. <laughs> I mean, so I didn't see all these. That's for sure. But, well, that uh, is rough. Um, I, I was, so I was going to bring up another me movie memory uh, a few years in the future. You know, uh, the 1998 Godzilla. Oh, yeah. See, now Durston's going to talk about a movie experience that we had that I don't remember. But go on. I don't remember much about the experience. But I Wait, think we. Did we go to we, Chelmsford? Yeah, we went okay, all the way I up to remember. Lowell. Or That's something. a like fucking Lowell or something. far, dude. Well, we got Jake yeah. Penny. Because, yeah, yes. our friend Jay. Jay. Jay and Brom. Yeah, Brom. Yeah. Oh, did he live up there then, too? Maybe that's No, why. I think he just came with us. So we all, three of us, drove all the way up there? I guess so. Jeez. That's a long yeah. way to go to see a really shitty to movie. See a sh <laughs> and I had already I think, seen it. I think it was one of those things where there weren't a lot of good theaters. Like, you know, we wanted to see it on, like, the biggest, best the screen. I want to see this big piece of crap on the best screen we possibly could. Wait, you said you had already seen it? I think I did. Oh, I think no. I saw it. You like, saw that movie year. twice? Ugh, yes. Oh, God. I think I saw it with Mrs. Elder because I was so excited about Godzilla. And then I think mm -hmm. I saw it with you guys like a day or two later. Oh. But I was willing to take that hit to, all you right. know, hang out with that. my friends. That's not, well, that's yeah, that's what it was all about. And I had like, so off air, I had talked about this, but I had just worked for that company and uh, obviously godzilla was done but that was one of the reasons i had all these different places i could have i said i did godzilla i want to work for them and uh that yeah, was pretty your terrible mates worked on the wallflowers video the, yeah he did bet he had a better time than i did working on yeah, it's like at least i get to hear the wallflowers <laughs> probably a million times <laughs> yeah it's probably better. the video was better than the movie yeah that's yeah so but yeah, I had worked for that studio, and I was like, oh, I'm so excited. We got Not that I wouldn't have been excited to see it anyway, you know, because it's a Godzilla movie, but yeah. Oof. That's that a whole a episode one. right there, that one. <laughs> I know, the 98 Godzilla, you're right. Yeah. Wow, that was bad. But yeah, so you don't have to be like a little kid to go to remember these movie memories. I also remember kind of similarly... The next, or two years later, I guess, or no, next year. I don't know. 1999. Uh, that the would Phantom be the Menace. Year. Oh, yeah. yeah. Phantom Menace. 
remember taking a day off from work, I think, to go see that. I think I saw it with my brother. Um, that wasn't you guys or anything. No. Well, I because Mrs. Elder and I went to Cape Cod, um, North Dakota, because we used to have a place there. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. we bought the tickets, I think, like a few days early or maybe a week when that was like unusual to do back then. Right. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember the unusual. local newspaper took a picture of the first guy that got a ticket and he was walking out of the door and he was like, Whoa, yeah, I got tickets to the Phantom Menace. And so, <laughs> and then, you know, and then we did whatever we did. And I think we went back home and came back the next week and saw it. It was like a 10 in the morning because we also figured at that time of year, there still weren't a lot of tourists in the area. So you could go see a movie and it'd be all right. And, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, and that was that was the end of Star Wars for Mrs. Elder. She was just, she liked the first three, you know, the original trilogy, and then after that, she was like, that movie was dumb. And I was like, yeah, but, yeah. They, they, there was battle. a, was great. there was like a 10 minute lightsaber battle that yeah. saved the two and That's hours how plus. I felt about it. I was like, okay, yeah. all I gotta do is sit through this whole movie until it gets to that part, and I'll enjoy it. I actually think the beginning of that movie is good, too. It's once they land on Naboo, it's like, whoa. Ugh. Yeah, and then they go to Tatooine. More and like and Naboo. They go all the way to... Yeah, right? And Tatooine. <laughs> but yeah, and it's hard to believe now that that was a huge deal. There had been the uh, special editions, the you know, before yeah. that. But there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a gaslighting thing that happens with when with Star Wars specifically. I mean, I guess it's the biggest thing for us, our generation of whatever dumb comic book podcasters, right? <laughs> like, you know, like it was a big fucking deal when the Phantom Menace came out. It was yeah. also a big fucking deal when the Force Awakens came comes out, yeah. and then both times you're just kind of like. I don't I don't have anything really bad to say about The Force Awakens, but it's not it's still not the original it's, ones. Like Jen is no. hashtag Jen was right. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. You know, it's you could totally <laughs> live your life, you know, freely and without regret if you gave up on Star Wars after yeah. Phantom Menace. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I remember right. be- before the movie came out, our friend Lee said something about Phantom Menace where he said, um, he's like, it, it's like, because no one thought there were going to be any more Star Wars movies because it'd been so long. And he said, it's like finding out Santa Claus really exists. <laughs> <laughs> Until after he saw the movie. And then he saw the movie, right? I asked yeah. him, he's like, I have some issues with the movie. Apparently, the elves make the toys. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's. I remember though, like, you know, hot day waiting outside the theater you know in a line to get in because i saw like i think i saw like a one o'clock show or something yeah or early as early as like you could get i guess and i think we had bought the tickets in advance which uh, yeah and i remember standing outside like waiting in line to get in of course there were no reserved seats you buy the ticket yeah it's but a, you it's don't a reserve free for all. yeah so you got to get in and, and whatever and they were I don't think there was anybody really dressed up, but there might have been. I don't. I don't remember now, but not like a not like the way someone would get dressed now. All right. Yeah. yeah well, I I gotta say this. This is like uh, I say this with all due respect to my friend PJ, who used to be he used to actually work in North Dakota at that famous restaurant, the Baritone. Uh, but uh, you mean anyways, real North Dakota or? Yeah, in real North, oh. <laughs> real North Dakota. I mean, uh, the uh, you mean Massachusetts? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, anyways, you know the restaurant. Anyways, my friend PJ, he played drums in my band, and uh, he absolutely was in Star Wars fucking fever when the movie came out. Like, he was doing stuff like going to the hardware store and making his own lightsaber out of like you know, fucking shit at Home Depot and stuff. And he's like, a Jedi always makes his own. And like, he would wow. like, like the, the that summer uh, Star Wars celebration before the movie came out, he went to, he like got on the bus and went to Colorado on a bus, on a bus wow. from Ugh. here. Ugh. To go, just to go to I know. Star Wars celebration? Wow. To go to celebration because he was so amped about Phantom Menace. And well, uh, he, he fair, continued the, to be excited. The trailer about. did make it look awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, we were all pumped about Phantom Menace. Don't yeah, we? I mean, your friend yeah. was not unusual. But yeah, it, except for that, he was like, even for us, it would be like, calm down on the, 
Calm down. <laughs> you know, you know what I, mean? I guess like, you're right. I mean, not, neither none of us made our own lightsaber. Yeah, but he was, but it was actually like so. You know, it was kind of like very pure. Like he was, he wasn't buying like like we can go on. I can go online and buy like a a thousand dollar batarang that you know sideshow makes right now. I'd be like, look at my cool batarang. But he was like, no, I went to you know he built all these like lightsaber handles. It I was think like that's awesome, actually. Yeah, it was it was pretty. really cool. Yeah. And then he had every. It doesn't mean I'm not going to give him a wedgie if I ever meet him. Yeah. <laughs> a he had, then <laughs> yes. he had every every Star Wars uh, action figure that came out that year, like for all the new all the new ones. You know what I mean? He had them hanging on his wall and stuff. That oh, was 1999, wow. baby. Or I know. In part, we, yeah, we had not seen a Star Wars a Star War, as they called it. On <laughs> Arrested <laughs> Development. Go see a Star War. We had not seen a, like a Star Wars, a new Star Wars movie since 1983, and everyone was pretty psyched. But yeah, then and that was, of course, the biggest movie that summer. And I probably saw it a, a couple times. I saw know, it well. probably five times just to watch the <clears throat> just to watch the, the end battle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was because it was because um, you hadn't seen a lightsaber battle like that before. It's true. It was two old guys kind of waving around yeah, like uh, a, a, uh, a even stick. when it was Mark Hamill when he wasn't a, he wasn't an old guy. It still looked awkward because Lucas yeah. was like, "Oh, these things are supposed yeah. to be real heavy, so make it look like they're these heavy." And I was like, and I guess he just gave up on that idea by the time they got to Phantom Menace. <laughs> yeah, and then he he <laughs> yeah he gave uh he gave uh Ian McGregor like his credit card. Go to Home Depot, make your own, <laughs> yeah. make your own make your lightsaber own. handle. <laughs> Uh, anyways, funny. Th- I don't know. So apparently, the number two movie that summer though was Austin Powers: A Spy Who Shagged Me. That's pretty. Yeah, baby. Yeah, way yeah, less was, than Phantom Menace, but still. That was big. one that I saw in the theater with Mrs. Elder and Redshirt Brian, and the and cosplay as as you were talking mm-hmm. about. Oh, well, I don't know if people were bringing lightsabers back then, but I I think that was around the beginning of it because. Three incredibly beautiful women came dressed as fembots, and you should have oh, seen nice. his eyes bug out of his head when, <laughs> when that happened. Did he try to approach them with like an no, Austin Powers I, voice I, or something? Like, to, hey, I, hey, I, I, if he was to try something like that, um, we would have stopped him, <laughs> or we would have encouraged him to make I'm him look sure, like an ass. No, I don't it, know. <laughs> depending on your mood, you might have said, yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, he probably yeah. would have been like, hey, should I go over and talk to them? You, if like, yeah, you want to see a show, you know what I mean? Yeah. You'd be right. like, yeah, go ahead. Or if you like, were like, yeah, it's kind like the of show the show. <laughs> yeah. But, but there, uh, there are times where you would have been like, oh, you, yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, there'd be you times. Know? Yeah, it just depends on my mood where I'm like, do I want right. to see him, uh, fall flat on his face or do I just want him to avoid the humiliation? So, yeah. How am I feeling it, today? Yeah. <laughs> I have a, like, now I'd be like, yeah, don't, just don't. Just don't. Now you're yeah. gonna make you look like an idiot for being with you if, if you. <laughs> That's <stuff>. probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. I don't want to look like an idiot. Yeah. So, um, you know, be seen with you. So. But back then, wasn't that um also like when people were getting dressed up? Wasn't that we were just talking about the Vampire Council, like Schmeigel with the the Triumph, the Intel That's comic right. dog uh, yeah. on the on the line, people going to see Star Wars. That was yeah, Phantom that Menace, was right? that was. Yeah, that was Phantom Menace. You're right. But I mean, I don't think in rural North Dakota there was a lot of cosplaying going on. Yeah, back probably back then. But yeah, those guys definitely did. And uh, I remember, oh yes, and don't forget to tell them to eat your fillet of fish or whatever. He, the guy, the, one of the guys who dresses like a Jedi, and he had like a fillet of fish in his hand. And I remember <laughs> trying to. <laughs> so. But like. I like uh, I, mean, I like I like to reminisce in case you guys didn't know guy like going way back it's all we do been, you know like because the funny thing that I've noticed right because I've been looking over this stuff and I'm like oh yeah I saw that in theater I saw that in theater I saw that and then like I can't remember something I saw like two three years ago but like I can go back to 1988 and be like I saw all of these and the well, then again it was a different time you didn't have I feel like 1989 when all the Batman and then all the sequels came out. I feel that was the start of like a new big movie every single weekend. You had a little breathing space in between mm. movies back then. Um, but now it's just, well, I don't know. Now it's like they come out 
and then they're on streaming in like a half an hour right so yeah yeah or you can even sometimes like you know uh and I, i'm guilty of this I've, I've done this i've like bought the digital whatever because i didn't want to go to see the movie that was still playing <laughs> you know i yeah, was like yeah. i want to watch this at home but it's well, funny it you cost mentioned the batman. same i think pretty much right yeah you mentioned batman that was like if i think about like the true idea of what i thought this particular episode would be about i yeah. was allowed to go to see batman with my friend and like it was kind of like rare because my parents were like a little strict and like, kind of weird so like but batman i got to go see and i my mom dropped me off at the hanover mall north dakota <laughs> and in the heat of batman fever and with jay woodworth my friend and like we watched the movie together and i got picked up and the only thing that was missing was i didn't have a bat symbol shaved into the side of my head but it had i given the option i probably would have gotten it you know <laughs> like that's how big i was into it it was a big so movie i, I, I remember well, yeah truly a memory of mine at the same theater several years later derson brahm and myself saw <laughs> batman and robin and it was about 95 degrees out and there was some poor sap dressed in a complete you know rubber yeah film accurate batman costume was it on you the roof of the theater no i oh, was, on I was the really roof asleep. what on are you even roof. doing up on the roof people don't being, look up he was being batman well i, I mean i felt bad for that guy it was like the roof is he was be probably really making high. like minimum wage yeah. which at the time was like five dollars and 25 cents yeah. an hour you know what yeah that's oh, what i got paid to dress up like chester fried chicken for christ's sake <laughs> <laughs> so i got paid time. five bucks to dress up as a bear in uh in that restaurant in north dakota no one has ever paid me to dress up as anything. <laughs> oh, I do it of my own free will. But um, but I kind of choose of, free kind will. Of this, kind of related to um, the Batman thing. Um, one, on New Year's Eve, Mrs. Elder and I were stopping to get Chinese food um, at like a really weird takeout place back when I could eat Chinese food. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's you know, December uh, and it's probably about nine o'clock at night and there's this guy dressed in a full batman costume in oh. east weymouth north dakota just patrolling the streets did the chinese in front of the chinese restaurant it was really weird well we uh you know i remember you and i went to a halloween party where you were dressed in full batman right or darth uh, vader was darth it darth vader, vader. So, i was yeah. dressed as batman actually Yes, yes. It's I've different on of... Halloween. It's obviously different on Halloween to walk the streets in the costume. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. That's New different. Year's Eve's Halloween. But now it's it's more acceptable. Yeah, like nowadays, but you know, yeah. um twenty something years ago it was odd to see Batman on New Year's Eve. Yeah. There's crime every night of the year. I'm pretty sure someone drove by and yelled something at him and <laughs> he just did the sort of like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've heard them all. Yeah. You were right about that summer, though. I was actually looking it up. So, like, Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, Lethal Weapon yeah. 2, Ghostbusters yeah. 2, Star yeah. Trek 5. How did yeah. we not talk about that? Go oh, boy. check out our Star Trek, <laughs> yeah, 5 Star Trek 5 podcast. Oh, my God. I remember seeing – I think we probably saw that together. We just saw it at the Cameo, I believe. <gasps> my theater that theater I would work in. Before you worked there. Oh, my God. And I remember, I think we also, did we also see uh, Indiana Jones and Last Crusade there? We did. No, we saw that oh. at the the same theater where Batman was on the roof. Oh, okay. All originally, right. I had asked on a date to go oh. see it. And she said yes. And then somehow it just didn't happen. Maybe because oh. I was just too afraid to follow up on anything back then because I was so insecure. Well, it was, it was 1989. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Her and I dated a couple of times and now she's fat. So it doesn't <laughs> <laughs> A nerd. <laughs> That's right, A-nerd. Um, yeah, I mean, what a crazy. But again, like I remember seeing Ghostbusters two, and you know, in the theaters. I remember all these. There were also a lot more. I feel like there were more theaters to go to a lot yeah. that were closer to us. Yeah, there know? were more theaters that had less screens, but um, yeah, but there was more variety that way too, because mm. not every theater got the same movies whereas now it's like there's one yeah. theater that had like one multiplex that you know has yeah yeah you kind of what we're like oh we should see that you look in the paper or call movie phone <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and be like 
Oh, oh, it's playing at Cameo. You should go there. Oh, it's playing Hanover Mall. Oh, it's playing Westgate Mall. Yeah, Westgate Mall was right. There was that other one too that was by the New England Comics. Uh, yeah, and, that's where we. I think that's where we saw Ghostbusters too. I think so. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> then that became like, did that became like a place for like Alcoholics Anonymous or something? Or, <laughs> I, I don't, or don't think have it, something. I, it was I think like it, called. It was for a little while. Now it's beginnings. completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's completely gone now. It's been, in the years, whole building so. is taken down. But yeah, I mean, uh, I used to go there with my grandmother and stuff, or, and see movies there. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's. It's fun, I think, to think, and you know, our friend Scott would go to the, we'd go to the movies to him a lot, and we'd have to sit like he was, he is wheelchair bound, so we had to sit like next to him in the back of the theater most of the time. So we had to get there pretty early, and uh, yeah, I mean, which is fine to me. I still like to get to the movies early, but yeah, yeah. maybe that's that, why. and that was before they played all the commercials and stuff. Mm. But they just it would just be usually looking at a blank screen and you could just hear like the radio in the place playing. <laughs> the yeah, that's true. Uh, but yeah, I remember there was um there was a year that we you know because we were where y- younger students went to school the day before the older students would report. Did you go to see Die Hard with us that year or was that? Uh, I don't no? think so. Okay, because um, I, 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 I was a younger student. Yes, Scott. That was <laughs> Scott and Nisby. I think. I know Sims I and me. Oh wow. I mean, I kind of wish. I mean, I, I like Die Hard. Yeah, I'd rather be a, watching Die Hard than being my first day at school. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, according to like this, Sims. Yeah. yeah. That's why M E S. That's how That's... we refer to himself sometimes. Oh really? I thought <laughs> you were that. If anybody's listening, wants to look him up. Yeah, he's like, here it comes old S M Y E S. Well, he was uh, a either. friend that that's just a funny name because he was like we were very like at school. There's like certain people like we were always like kind of cool at school. Like we were friends at school, but never outside of school. <laughs> like I never hung out with them once outside of school. But when we were in school and we took a bunch of classes together, we were like totally cool, like, you know, fist bumps and stuff, but never, never out of school. <laughs> Then he got into weightlifting and became like all jacked up and because yeah, he because he got like, me a job uh this place where he worked at security and that was like when he was like heavy into the whole like oh lift you know and everybody used to comment when he wasn't around that uh, he would buy his clothes one size too small so that <laughs> it would just showcase his his gains. He kind of like had that yeah Mark steroid Mark McGuire. Yeah right? that yeah that's a, yeah he, he had a very he had the same vibe. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, um, what was I just going to bring up? Another movie memory. Now it's, oh, I forgot it. Oh, well. Oh, I have a funny one. Like, so talking about buying or, you you know, not buying tickets in advance. I remember The Lost World, right? The Jurassic Park sequel. Mm. Oh, Go- did we, did we, did, was that when we, did we see that with Lee or did I see that with Lee? I saw that with our former friend, Horseman. Oh, okay. Because I have a story about about, oh, okay. about that movie as well with Lee. Oh, it's this isn't really a story, but yeah, we were working in the video store. The store closed at nine, and we had decided let's go see Jurassic or whatever the hell it's called, Lost World. <laughs> and drove to Braintree, North Dakota, and <laughs> then true. um, like it was packed, and we were like, oh shit, you know, like and somebody was there, and like it was sold out, and we we're like, ah, fucking the. Guy just like, oh, here, you can buy my tickets. I bought two extra or whatever. So it, it was only, like, I think he thought all his friends were coming, but it's almost felt like scalping or something. It was so <laughs> weird. But, uh, you know, you got to pay me uh, the service <laughs> yeah. fee. Uh, uh, I had to wait in line, you know. Yeah. Hey, psst, come over here. Let's let's do this around the corner. No, it was yeah. totally it's fine. But yeah, like, it was sold out. And, like, we had to just, you know, sit wherever. And it's crazy, you know, back then. And then the movie wasn't even good. Yeah, this is that like kind of we have terrible. all these movies are terrible. All the movies we talked about so, are bad so, movies. Um, I just had the the nose operation right around then, and oh, so I yeah, still had the deviated septum. Yeah, so I the still classic had the, leak podcast yeah. official. Um, yeah, we're all yeah, brothers here. Uh, everybody, yeah. everybody thinks they're the weird one. And so they go, <laughs> no, we've all gotten that done. We've yeah. all had. I, I was just <laughs> the first, first one. Yeah. yeah. 
uh so that so that was a long time i don't know if it, they do it the same way still or not but like they had like those packs thing in my nose to keep everything all good oh yeah and oh, um yeah. but you know but and you like they're like don't blow your nose so you're always like <laughs> doing these little sniffles and uh, and then uh, and this is the day before i'm supposed to get everything removed and i just went <laughs> and i sniffed a little too hard and sucked it up through my nose into the back of my throat and then <clears throat> coughed it out <laughs> and i was like oh god that was so nasty oh, man. that's what i remember about that movie was it all like bloody and um, it wasn't too bad it was just strange yeah uh, like I, I it just looked like a i don't even know what it looked like it was just it wasn't it wasn't it was only gross because that happened it didn't look really gross oh okay but yeah Good. i was just like oh that's weird and lee saw that and he's just sort of like what was going on over there and <laughs> told him later and he was like oh yeah <laughs> there's my movie memory that's a good movie memory that boy that jurassic world uh yeah and he stuck with you yeah <laughs> <laughs> that movie's terrible it's I'm not so, even sure if that was summer. It must have been, but well, it was like May. That counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the other. It became like a big thing. Like, get the first, you know, the the Memorial Day weekend thing. Yeah, it was that? Like, well, then like they started moving it earlier. And I remember then like yeah. Spider Man Two came out or something. It was like May Fourth. They're like, that's the earliest summer. Yeah. Now they're like that's releasing right. them in like February. They're like, oh, the yeah. summer movies kicks summer off. Summer movie schedule kicked out. Yeah, but. Yeah, I don't know. It is funny. I guess, like, I keep thinking about that era where you're old enough to go and you do basically do whatever you want, but you are because you're not 21. You know what I mean? So I'm kind right. of, I keep going back to, like, the 90s, the mid-90s, I guess, or whatever, where you're like, hey, we're going to hang out with our friends. What do you do? And we'll go to the movies, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was, like, definitely, like, in the, not. I feel like even now when I go to the movies, um. And this is like a little silly, but like when I go to the movies now, I'm I'm like I'm like I remember like going to the movies like because I enjoy going to the movies like when I was a kid, you know, like you're always like looking to like re live that in a way, you know what I mean? Like I go to the movies to like honor all of the other times I've ever been to the movies. If you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know what I mean? It's like it feels Not very just to much say like you did. Yeah, no, it feels very much like a like a thing that this is a comfortable thing that I like to do. That's actually like pretty exciting. Like if you watch a lot of action movies and stuff like we do, we're like, yeah, it's like it's like going on a ride or something, you know? Yeah, well, I'm gonna I, say I, I that as I'm getting older, I'm finding the movie experience less enjoyable. But it's mainly because of the people that go and they're always like on their phones oh, and doing everything God, except yeah. watching a movie, it's which is bad. Kind of ties into what I'm. I'm going to talk about a non-movie memory here for one second, but because I went to the the John Williams conducting the Boston Pops the other night, and it was like the you went to the John John Williams, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) And and the the place was like packed with, but I'd say half the people didn't care about being there for the music because people brought their kids and they were kicking balls around and this and that and. One, some they were kid, kicking you in the balls. You said, no, "I'll kick kicking. some balls around." Yeah, I was like, "Yeah, I'm uh, way, I'm ball kicking coming through." <laughs> um, it was like a kid who spent the entire time. He was a kid. He was like, you know, late teens, maybe you know, eighteen, nineteen. He spent the whole time with a blanket on over him, completely lying on a Pikachu pillow, and God. only like got up when it was almost time to leave. And that was most of the kids there didn't care. Well, this whole thing and i'm like why you got and that's how i feel about the movie experience most of the people there are just there but they're not really yeah. there for the movie and so yeah, that's how i feel about it and also yeah. as i said to clay someone did not know who john williams was when i was talking about i'm gonna go see the and they said to me he's like is that uh-huh. some sort of maestro and i was oh, like yeah yeah, yeah, yeah i think he's done a couple movies and then he yeah. said something else and i was like wait wait you really don't know who he is. <laughs> I was like, is Star Wars. Don't you remember the old guy in in Rise of Skywalker that was like, you know, hanging out with the little things that fix droids? 
Um, <laughs> Actually, I didn't. I don't remember that either. Uh, yeah, he has that, his final. He did. He, he goes. Cameo? One of the only good things about Lawrence Skywalker is that John Williams like play, is an official Star Wars character. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. See, there is something I don't. Uh, just like I said, I don't remember things from a few years ago, and I remember like seeing. <laughs> fucking, well, you know. it's forgivable. Forgivable. Forgivable for Ron Scott. Can I? Are you yeah. done talking about John Williams? Because yeah, I'm done. That was, just, on I, that was just me needing to just vent about how waving your annoying. fist at the. I've seen yeah. a couple of uh, maybe maybe I can't think if it's once or twice. I've seen. Uh, I went to Symphony Hall and saw uh, uh, Pops do Star Wars. It wasn't John Williams, but it was pretty great. It was pretty awesome. I love that stuff. That's super fun. And pe- people should check that out. They've never been to something like that. It's so yeah, awesome. I'm I'm gonna say probably there you're getting people to to do it. This is more like a um you know an outdoor venue, so kids can just like run like all over oh, the place and it's terrible. We had we, like we, we found a finally found a spot to sit down where there weren't a bunch of kids. We moved three times. So the second oh, time geez. that we moved to the second spot, we're like okay fine, and then about five to ten minutes later, a group of middle-aged people and old people came and literally were sitting it's not literally but they were sitting right on top of us they like they kept knocking mrs elder in the back of the head i turned around oh, no. and i've got some old guy's butt in my face as he's bending over it, and he's Ugh. stacking stuff next to my chair and oh, this old lady keeps talking I'm about her sandwiches at the top of her lungs where she's like i got these sandwiches and a hand and i got this black bean something or other and a hand uh. Where's my Boy. rum coke and how the... and I'm and Jen was like I can't take this anymore and she's like I'm gonna do some recon and find a different spot and she did and that the rest of the show was great that was when we saw the kid lying on his Pikachu thing and some other kid just would just I'd rather the kid lying his Pikachu thing than yeah I'd rather than a have an old man ass in my face and an old lady <laughs> just yelling about her sandwiches so oh, anyway back to the podcast so okay I I just one thing that I We'll repeat from one of our James Bond episodes. I think I went to see um, uh, not Skyfall. What's the one after Skyfall? Spectre. Spectre. I went to see Spectre. And literally, this is when I would like go to the movies like a bunch because I had like movie pass or something. I, I was just like going after I would, like go after work or something. I was just like, here I am fucking Great, I'm having a good time. It's AC in here. It's nice. So, like, I went there, and there was this fucking kid with his dad, and his dad is obviously, like, us. You know, he like, wants to see a new James Bond movie. And he, this kid's 12, and all through the credits and stuff, he's, like, fucking Snapchatting and, like, doing, like, stuff on his phone it, during, like, the, you know, sort of, like, the preamble or whatever to the movie. And I was just, like... What the fuck? Don't you want to? I, I literally thought I was almost said this out loud. Like, don't you want to learn how to get laid? <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's that was, all I could think of. And I still, I have such a vivid memory of that theater experience because I was just like, kid, fucking pay attention. And I know that people are like of all different kinds of, you know, maybe who cares? The kid might have a really good time going to see the Lego movie or like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or whatever. I mean, his dad brought him to the thing. And he didn't want to be there. Like, I can't blame the kid for that. But at the time, I was so mad. I well, was, I I was like, the, I, maybe the dad should be like, hey, put that away or something. You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, dad, exactly. That's the thing. I feel like yeah. parents are just like, they're probably so defeated uh, that they're just like, fuck it. Yeah, whatever. Just play on your fucking phone. I don't care if you bother the rest of everybody. And, and then the, the thing is, maybe he was like Snapchatting to like some chick that he is trying to hook yeah, up with. Was yeah, maybe like, you at, were, yeah, at the new at the new James Bond movie. You know what I mean? With like a filter with like a tuxedo on like, it. Or something. I mean, I don't know what he was doing, I gotta, but he was I annoying me. You know? I forget the lines. All those good lines. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that kid was definitely being annoying as fuck well yeah we got stuck behind two girls that were at the when we saw death note that was when we left oh, yeah we walked out of two i believe no, I, but I did we stay for the right? whole thing i can't I remember know, maybe not but you uh, threw... I, I, i've been seeing on this list of summer blockbusters twister that was, oh uh, god was, that was yeah. um was that the uh, one that was the quickest i ever said this movie's pretty i think bad. so <laughs> so did i say this movie's stupid yeah this is this movie's or, pretty or yeah, this isn't very good or you know, yeah so. 
Yeah, well, of course, like was... now, I would never even go to – if I saw a commercial for this movie Twister, like now in theaters, I'd be like, well, I'm not going to – I'll just wait. Yeah, I don't you know, know what why I mean? we... like it's sad. I don't know like, why we saw it. It didn't look like it was going to be very good. I but think that was like... you had a Helen Hunt thing for a little while. Oh, yeah, because I was like, oh, that was my grandmother's name. Let's yeah. go see the and lady I, that says the same name. She, uh, you know, she was on Mad About You, I think, at the time. It was like a big – you know, it was still a big deal to see TV people and movies and stuff. And then she wore like a tank top the entire movie. So oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. There uh, we go. Yeah. She sort of but, reminded uh, me of my ex, I guess, too. Really? In yeah. a in a weird way. But I mean, yeah. It's I mean, I see phenomenon is on this list of movies. I, mean, I saw that with a with a lady who is also oh, an ex, a weird huh? dummy. Yeah, weird dummy. <laughs> the, oh, sorry, I forgot. I forgot. These <laughs> weird that's dummy. That's what we referred to them as. Yeah. Um, and I was like. I, I mean, I think I guess she remember, She was like, I like John Travolta. So I'm like, oh, let's go see that John Travolta movie. I should have known right that's, there. That's Your pronunciation there was great. And that's pretty much how she. Uh, yeah, like I wouldn't. I mean, Peter and Paul. <laughs> oh, he's a Highlander. He's yeah, a Highlander? I always yeah, thought yeah, of yeah. that when I was watching Breaking Bad. I would always say Aaron Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing though, back to, and I, maybe like, maybe I'm obviously I have no kids, right? So I'm being judgmental. Obviously. But, and so parents, you know, maybe can argue. And I don't know. Some parents might argue. Parents, for, fast forward five parents, minutes. Just don't understand. Just be quick. <laughs> and maybe, maybe they can explain to me these things. But someone in, there's this Facebook group in my town where you can buy or not buy, it's all free, but you put something, you're like, hey, I, I have this. Does someone want it? Or, or you could say, I need this. Does anyone have it? And it's called the Buy Nothing Group. They have them all over the place. So um, this guy, or I don't I shouldn't You'll say guy. buy nothing and you'll like it. <laughs> A parent said, does anyone have those noise-canceling headphones for infants? I want to see the Barbie movie. It's like, so your kids oh, are going to no, sit no. two you're and a half your, hours? Bringing, just, you're bringing your... Oh, yeah, like, I, I don't I know. Hate that shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. That happened at Batman Begins. There was someone that brought their crying baby. Yeah, I feel like some people think, like, ah, they don't understand it anyway, you know, or whatever. I mean, because they're yeah, from Brooklyn. Well, well, they can't. They're... <laughs> okay. We're all going to sound like a bunch of jerks, but that. Right. They... I, I guess I'll be a little bit more sympathetic. They they just want to, like, live their lives, and they figure – that much like the way that I'm just like I like to go to the movies just because it's fun and it's air conditioned and you know I can go by myself and still have a good time you know it's just a it's really a thing to do like I think they're like oh I want to see the Barbie movie but how am I going to do it you know like I, don't uh, find and then I see a lot of you know what I, I mean? see a like, lot of these yeah well or, I mean I don't I, in a month yeah right sweet I, I just I also feel like I mean as long okay I love you put it this way as long as you're one of those parents are you talking about kids, infants or like little anything kids? there were kids in the theater Rachel and you know wanted to see Barbie and I saw it with her and her parents and everything and there were there was like families whole families sitting there and they were separated they could they weren't sitting together so the kids were like <laughs> next to me and kept running down to get like more money so they could run to the uh, that's, that's or something. always what happens when they're like you they, just, they can't sit still for that long it's yeah. not that i don't want them in the theater they weren't even that noisy but they also did have their phones out a little bit but like i didn't care because it was only barbie and it's whatever but like if it was like a movie i really liked i would have been like what the fuck i i have they, to say this prove my point <laughs> oh, I don't enjoy the movies. I guess you're right. Uh, that um, this is like this is a bad reflection on me, but I was reviewing the the latest the the first Godzilla movie, the one we did, right? That we did that movie, right? The, um, the twenty my, like nineteen fifty. Yeah. No, no, like the the, first the newest movie. one. Okay. Yes. The we one that came out a couple years ago. We actually have not done an episode on that yet. I'm, oh, we're, I think we, we did one. Of, we did one of them. We did the new one that was streaming or something. We did oh, we Godzilla did, yeah. versus Kong. Yeah, well, we watched that one, but I don't think we did. We did. We <laughs> talked about yeah. um, the King of the Monsters. Yeah. Right. Uh, we didn't do a whole episode about it. Yeah, we weren't doing that it, back then, I guess. We'll get there. So, yeah. whatever <laughs> year that came out, 2015 or something like that, 
and I uh, I was there, and then I I had a get I had guest press list for Stacy, and she was like running late from work, and it was like in the IMAX at uh, downtown, you know, like uh, on the Boston Common, and our seats were like assigned seats inside, like three or four people in, and she was running late. And I, like, I'm on my phone because she's like, I'm outside and like, I have to go outside and like meet her and like bring her in. And I'm already sitting there and everybody else is already sitting there. And uh, <laughs> just the guy, he was probably another reviewer. And he, and I as I had my phone in my hand and it was like, just staring back at me like bright white, you know? And he was like, just like kind of deadpan, just like, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad he didn't just turn to you and say, I'm trying to enjoy the film. Yeah, right? It's kind of what he was doing, but he was kind of like being like as nice as he could about it. Just like, I, well, I guess it's I, better than. And I was just like, I know I was like, my, it's my girlfriend, but he didn't care about my girlfriend. She's late. But like, you know, I'm trying right. to be wicked nice and like, oh, I got to go out there and blah, blah, blah. But I know it's totally disruptive and totally fucked up. It he is, was right. But he was so right. Peop- but, but at least you I were aware and like you weren't. I was, like, I was aware of even- I was 100% aware of how this is probably annoying, and I'm sorry. Kind of should have uh, turned it down, turn your light all the way down, and then go to your uh, settings and turn the zoom on, which will make it even more dark, and uh, it would be less disruptive next time. Yeah. So now I just don't go. even give a fuck if anybody, my girlfriend, my dad, or my sister are trying to get in touch with me. Leave me alone. I'm at the movie. Look, at, you should have been here on time. Yeah. I'll stop talking. I'll, I'll, no, buff, buff okay or, right now, or, yeah. or as uh, or as I always say to Mrs. Elder, after I say something that's dumb, and I always go, "Okay, I'll shut up now." <laughs> that's my thing. I don't want to shut up though, because I have Keep one talking. story. Please. I have one story about. Um, it's just a movie memory when we Durson was like telling me about the idea for this podcast, and I was like, "Oh, I really want to do this," which is, uh, <laughs> I remember, young young man moved into the city, did like, had some adventures, like my first like sort of year at mass art. Cause I was on my own and living in the city and, and like, I could be an adult, like kind of like what you were saying before, like, you know, I wasn't yeah. 21, but I could like walk around by myself in the city. And I didn't know, I literally country bumpkin. I got my, you know, my bindle over my shoulder and I'm like, what's going <laughs> on here? You know, the bindle. but so anyways, I remember I was like, I want to see Generations. So what when what year did that came out? Ninety four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so was, that saw was that with the with the aforementioned Anert. I saw it with Red Shirt Brian. Well, look at all of us going to yeah. see this movie. Yeah. That would have that would have afforded me um, you know, I had already I lived in the city for like a year. So it's like sophomore year of college, I guess. It's November, but I was still like kind of like getting the hang of it, you know, a young man. Mm. And then, uh, so I went to the movies. There used to be a movie theater like where the the near the Prudential Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember the that. the old ICA. That you remember that place? Now it's yeah. like a, or Bukowski's or whatever. Um, so yeah. then I went there to see this all by myself. This is, I lo- all through high school. I love Next Generation. Love Star Trek. And fucking, I couldn't believe it when I went in there because I wasn't 21 yet. And people behind me, but I i mean, I was partying a lot, but I wasn't <laughs> 21 yet. The people behind me, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it because they were cracking Budweiser's, <laughs> chucking them down and then like, and then like rolling past my feet, like my feet are spread apart, rolling past my feet, just like every couple minutes. <laughs> an empty Budweiser can and like I think of I think of that just as much as I think of like moments in the movie like I can't like separate <laughs> the movie and that and being like I can't believe these fucking people brought beer into the movie theater oh my god this is so crazy this is, I'm living in the city I'm living in the city <laughs> these people doing whatever the fuck the they city want city life Budweiser yeah, yeah. and I'm like Bud. please don't spill any on my bindle <laughs> <laughs> well that's the kind of the funny thing i feel like people even though yeah there was but people cracking buds and, and, you know the floor was always sticky in those old theaters and you know whatever but or when we were filming our movie yeah yeah i would yeah that was brave 
I was on the ground, I know. But I cleaned that theater, so I knew it was. You knew it was all right in that yeah. one spot. Um, but, like, now you go, and I feel like people give two shit. Or, I mean, you know, they don't give a shit. And, like, the theaters are so much nicer. <laughs> like, But they treat them hey. like they're at home. You know? But here's the other thing. Those guys that were drinking beers, they were super into the movie. You know what I mean? Whoa, like they weren't go. like just they, they weren't like they were there having a good time and watching and trying to enjoy the film themselves. They love fucking Star Trek <laughs> oh. or whatever. You know, and, and drinking beers when you're like are doing something like that was way more popular in the eighties and nineties. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. a six pack to drive up to New Hampshire. My dad told me the other day, he's like, yeah, I'd go through like a sick back driving up to uh, grandma's house. Well, that's you know? and that's it's like, good to know that you've yeah. been behind the wheel. And... <laughs> right. Um, but it was just a thing that just it just kind right. of was more happening around then. You know what I mean? One of it's my weird... favorite movie going experiences was uh, going to see the Charlie Sheen movie, The Arrival. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was yeah, that, I was... don't know uh, when that came out, but that was a I good movie going. Yeah, experience. boy, but that was. That was another um, with best Horseman, times ever, right? Didn't we see that? Wasn't Horseman there as well? Oh, yeah, he probably was, one? but I th- I believe Lee was also there. So, ah, yes. So, because uh, I remember Go back him to just, him too. Yeah, I just remember him thinking how funny it was that weird scene where the guy transformed his alien legs and ran off. Yeah, that was like the flash like, part, right? We just kind of it might have been. Oh, I hey, can't... May thirty first. So dumb. Right? The whole movie was dumb. We watched it that. Was... So dumb. watched it again maybe six or seven years ago and um i was like wow this movie's even dumber than i remember i we were very excited though because like it looked so bad so we yeah it did and we were like Roger let's have a Ebert nice bad movie a great review but it would like we gave it a standing ovation when it was over yeah I, I, you turned to me and said i think we need to give this a standing yeah. ovation and, I, and I, one other guy that's so good yeah, i love i i picture you guys doing that it's so funny yeah there was what another guy that was like, did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, good. I'm glad that that was one time where we were like laughing at the movie that we didn't get yelled at. But there was, yeah. I can't there was imagine a lot that. of people. I think, although the movie oh. only made, oh no, grossed 14 million dollars, which yeah, I so guess, that was terrible. <laughs> Must have been even, just from that one. Screen. That doesn't even cover Charlie Sheen's coke that they had to buy for. Oh. <laughs> so but, yeah, yeah. that was the one. Yeah, that was a good movie going experience. I also remember seeing the the Thomas Jane Punisher with you. Oh yeah, like, driving down. Too. I still have yet to see that movie. I've never watched it. I, I like think we should Punisher. watch it together. Oh okay, yeah, just to relive. The, I don't remember anything about it. I'll have to have I John remember both put it yeah. on the list because I've never just, seen it. The thing about I think that might be Roy Scheider's last movie. I think perhaps so. because oh, that was also yeah. funny to us. Was like he's at like a family cookout or a birthday or something and then bad guys yeah. come to get him and then roy scheider breaks out the guns and we just thought that was the funniest thing because <laughs> you know it's like it's, even it's, the punisher well armed like just, a cookout yeah. you know i know uh, and shoot him in the head it was a little different than uh yeah it's than not all the movie. it's not good not good but i remember being like hey Want to see the Punisher this weekend? Yeah. That looks yeah, pretty yeah. bad, you know. Yeah. That wasn't <laughs> Punisher Warzone was actually a pretty good movie. Yeah, this was before well, that. Take, this was a couple yeah, years no. before that. R.I.P. But, Ray yeah. Stevenson. I know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, R. we R. used R.I.P. Ray to... Stevenson and then R.I.P. Um, Roy Scheider too. So there we go. Oh, Roy Scheider and John Travolta's career. Ho! Hey! Oh! Hey! Two thousand tens Roy Scheider. Yes. Uh, yes. 2010. Uh, didn't do anything else with that guy. Uh, yeah, it's a damn shame that he only yeah. did two movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we used, that was that was also a thing we would do sometimes. Go see a movie that we knew was bad. Yeah. I, the I theater. Feel those were like more fun. Yeah. It's especially too bad, well, not um, bad. Too bad. They, not bad. They weren't smart enough to bring beer with us yeah right <laughs> so not bad because that seems like a whole other topic but did we all go see army of darkness together like who was there i remember seeing it with randy you must you guys must have been there too right uh, i was i never saw it in the theater uh, oh I no never, way i, I saw no, I, I saw it with um the uh the i don't know i do should i call her a weird dummy i don't know my ex-fiance uh and my sister and I'm sure I saw it another time in the theater as well, but I can't remember who I saw it with. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I never. But saw I know it that we saw it with Randy when it was out on video, on home video. So. Right. Probably multiple. We had different versions. And yeah, because well, because we did the Sam and Bruce Fest for my 21st birthday. Oh yeah. We just had Bruce Campbell and or Sam Raimi movies on, like just running through the entire night, and then we would all just eat pizzas and we'd all be jamming and stuff. Yeah, uh, jamming. We be jamming. We're jamming. We be jamming. Come on. And that and worked out nicely because me. it was right at like you know the Thanksgiving break and my parents were away. We weren't ah. fucking rowdy or crazy because, you know, we were the do nothings. But right, uh, it was still a good time. <laughs> we weren't cracking buds in a theater kind no. of guys. No, I didn't yeah. even like beer. <laughs> I just didn't. I wouldn't have had the guts to do that. But now you just buy it at the. You can buy yeah. it. At the movie yeah, that's yeah, that's like yeah, buy said. an expensive one. Transformers yeah. the movie, yeah. and I had to keep peeing every two seconds because. <clears throat> yeah, we we had a few drinks before that. And then a few drinks after, I'm sure. <laughs> Listen to our well, Flint Dilly episode if you want to hear about Transformers the movie. Ba ba ba. Did you have um? Did you have bad movie experience uh, that you wanted to talk about, Thurston? Did you have any in mind in particular? Like a bad movie or a bad, like a movie, bad movie experience? You went to see no, you went to see a movie, but you knew it was bad. Uh, I don't know. Like I mean, I'll, I we do like probably a, like a, a Ghost Rider maybe. Oh yeah, the Nick yeah. Cage I remember. Escape. I remember pitching that for when we were doing the bad movie parties all the time, and no one was on board for it. But you and I had already seen it. We're like, it's it's bad. Oh, it's really bad. <laughs> it's funny bad. Yeah, just, yeah, you know, I my like my hands up over here. Like, when are we covering that for the show? Right, put it on the list. <laughs> I I, guess I would watch any, basically any superhero movie and give it like a critique on it. You know, I would still have fun watching that. I haven't like, seen that in a long time. Mm. I can't remember like every movie that we went. We saw to. the the Phantom, and I know Randy was oh, with yeah. us for that one, and we all we knew that we had a feeling that wasn't going to be very good. Oh, and you we mean were, the Shadow or the Phantom? Oh, Phant- Shadow. Oh, Shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. Phantom was also a movie that a different I, movie that was probably wasn't very good. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, the, the Shadow, Shadow that was gonna that was that same time where I was getting all the free movies. Yeah, it, it played at it actually played at the theater I worked at. Usually we would go to Harbor Lights, but. I remember going to see that. Yeah, not, it wasn't very good. The Alec Baldwin um, time. Uh, I mean, starring, uh, what do they call it? Uh, yes, joint or something. Uh, <laughs> Alec Baldwin joint, which you know, I don't know if that's <laughs> a good thing Baldwin to be now. Joint. No, I know. Yeah. Um, but that, speaking of that time again, because we, we started there, or I did, but um, – the Crow. That's that was one I oh, wanted yes. to talk about. Yes. We saw that movie like a million times. I feel we like. did. We did. Like because it. I would. Stacy loves past that it. movie. I gotta watch that again. Like I mean, I I think I used to watch it when I was a kid or was on cable or whatever. Like well, one a of lot. the Crow movies we walked out of. Yeah, that was um, one of the. I don't one of which. them. I don't remember that the there was one. even more but, than one. But Brom stayed. Yeah, there were, there were so at least we went, three. We went and watched the. The fan, which was only marginally better, right. um, but yeah, go on about the. Maybe original. There were only two crows. Were there other crows? I, there I was like know, Crow City concerned. of Angels or something like. Yeah, that, that was yeah. one we watched a few minutes. He said this movie stinks. I was, yeah. was kind of like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, just trust me on this. Yeah. I Sometimes I would go, well, let's give it a little more. Let's give yeah. it a little more time. No. No. But we walked that, out of Interview with the Vampire that same year and Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. So that was the year. Get the fuck out of that movies. movie rules. Dumb and Idiots. Dumber. The movie's awesome. Fuck Dumb and Dumber? Guys. No. <laughs> no interview interview with the with Vampire. Oh, we made no. it pretty far into that one. Did actually. we? Or did we stay for it? We might have actually stayed through the I whole thing, but did. I know you turned to me and said this movie stinks. Yeah, I yeah, I guess we stayed because I yeah, I do remember. Does the ending with like Brad Pitt attacks Christian Slater or something like that? Oh yeah, Christian Slater. Yeah. Is okay, so we did stay for the whole movie, right, but we, we didn't like it. Movie. No, I didn't like it. I thought maybe there'd be like nudity. Oh yeah, that was a bummer. <laughs> but um, yeah, the crow was. I mean, it was obviously a big deal. I remember you guys were all taking taekwondo. No, uh, was it kenpo karate? Uh, well, yeah, right? I took taekwondo and. Oh, you did take taekwondo. Okay. Kenpo for a short time with Randy. Right. Uh, 
Wait, didn't think we should have just asked Randy to be on this episode. He really yeah, factored it to uh, He did, yes. There was uh, quite a bit of Randy. But yeah, and so like you're into Brand uh Bruce Lee, and then you get into Brandon Lee, I guess. Yes, or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. so and then he died making yes. this movie. If anyone doesn't remember this whole uh scuttlebutt, but and then the soundtrack, right? Yes, it was like yeah. huge. That was huge, yeah. There was uh, that big Stone Temple pilot song from the from that movie. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I don't know. That was one of those movies we saw multiple times that year, just because it came out May thirteenth. Uh, technically qualifies, but um, mm. I think well, also like you like... said before, like you know, these movies would run for a long time. They might open in March and like right. leave the next year. Yeah, that's right. Like it's Jurassic Park, and I remember Speed playing like for a long oh, time yeah. in my yeah. theater. Yeah, movies like that were big. People go multiple times now. Like, yeah, even if you go once, you're not going to go multiple times no. to see these movies. That's I don't know this whole thing. I could go once or twice to see a movie. Still, yeah, I haven't done it in a little bit, but I could do it. Well, every I see like myself doing it. I suppose if I really liked it, I mean, I would have no problem. I did see The Flash twice, although you brought me for free once. So I don't know if that counts, but and I. You know, whatever. It does but, um, count because you went to the movies twice to see it. it does count. It counts. Just so I could say I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, so there's in a, a way, you kind of just uh, so you I got could to say see that piece of shit, Ezra Miller, twice. I know. Yeah. Four yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, right, because he's in it. Would with yes. me. Four, Four times, yeah. Equals more testicles. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my fuzzy memory thing, too, it's like, I don't remember seeing Batman Returns in the movie theater, but I know I saw it in the movie theater. I don't remember seeing Ghostbusters 2 in the movie theater, but I know I saw it in the movie theater. Remember seeing The Abyss? Um, I don't know. I, I, sometimes my aunt Oku used to bring me, um, when I was, like, visiting my, them or my grandmother or something in situate. So, like, sometimes we would just randomly go. I, that, I think that's probably when I saw most of those fun ones, like Back to the Future 2 and stuff like that. Mm. You know what's funny? I mean, just thought, like I used to when I when we worked in the video store, someone would come in and pick up a movie and be like, "I can't remember if I've seen this. Can you look up? Could you could see like their last twenty rentals or whatever, right? I think it was." And uh, I'd be like, "How can these people not remember?" But yeah. now here I, I mean, like I was I, just too I young. I think and about that dumb kind of often. Yeah. Is that that like they would come in and give you the wrong title and they when they walk out the door you'd be like oh what an idiot didn't even Those know dummies, and now yeah. that's like me with everything <laughs> you know i can't remember like, the name of anything people places movies shows songs but yeah but, but it's like, also name. like yeah i always have to remember <laughs> mrs elder mrs Cazone. elder was, we don't we don't remember her name but uh yeah like it, it's it's so funny. We had nothing else to think about, I guess, back then. So we were just yeah. like, I can't believe you don't remember the name yeah, of this what movie. What else is there in life yeah. except movies? How <laughs> uncool these old people are. I know. <laughs> Terrible. I, I guess it's, it's awful. We had no patience, for one thing, but also just like, of all the things to get mad at someone about, <laughs> the fact that they care, oh, it's really easy for us to look up. And then sometimes you'd, you'd, you'd be like, oh, yeah, you're, you rented it. Like, I can't remember if I watched it. Well, I can't help you there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can't help. All right. I can't go to your house and watch you watching it. But So there's a, there's a theory. Well, I could. I guess I could, yeah. They, they never invited me. It'd be a little weird. But the crossover. That's what we call that. Me yeah, and the, the missus crossover. will be over on around 4 o'clock. <laughs> Whatever that was. When, when a customer would become a friend, we call it the crossover. <laughs> yeah, crossing over. <laughs> I don't think I ever did it. I mean, uh, I don't know. Well, we got invited to that Halloween party. We did go to the Halloween party. Yeah. That's one, and then I got friendly with uh, Jean. Yeah, I don't think I could call her like a friend. Yeah, I I yeah, and I used to hang out with her. You just kind of say hey when she come in. Yeah, so whatever. Whatever. It doesn't even matter. No, it doesn't matter. That's the great thing. <laughs> but there's a, <laughs> there's a theory going around. Um, somebody positive because Oppenheimer and Barbie are are making money. A lot of money, whereas a lot of movies lately, you know, are flopping this summer. Indiana Jones flopped, Flash flopped, and I hate to say this. Mission Impossible is underperforming. Mission Impossible is on. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. So, I know it was. I know Clay put his money to it, but yeah, I mean, generally it's not doing great. But Barbie and Oppenheimer are doing good, and they're kind of saying like, 
somebody posited that this is like uh like smells like teen spirit coming along and sort of doing away with all the 80s pop like an early or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. With like getting rid of all the hair bands and stuff. Yeah, like this is what's popular now, people. So stop making those stupid summer blockbuster crap movies and start making good movies. Maybe people will come. So Is Barbie a good movie? I, uh, no, no. No, okay. Just, but I mean, that's just because... It's I don't understand me. why it's it's such a big thing. Um, I know, because people... Because it's still, it's still like based on an existing property yeah yeah and that's so, that stuff is always popular it's yeah. just, I, don't it know. Is. I mean you know but like uh, you know everybody remembers having a uh, having barbie dolls i mean women or maybe men i don't know people but uh it's just i didn't think it was going to be the kind of movie that it is i thought it'd be a fun i remember when you played with toys kind of a movie like lego movie and it's it is not that, it's and it made me like, feel bad for being born with a penis. Oh uh, yeah, that's how I, I I watched the pitch meeting about it where they essentially said that there was a, there was a whole lot of it was you know women as uh, second class citizens kind of thing. Yeah, and I don't um... the patriarchy. I think that's what he kept saying. Oh yeah, that's the word they use in the movie yeah. a lot. Ryan Gosling. It's Gre- Greta Gerwig makes these kind of movies though. She's like a, she's like an all like an, it's nerdy to say, but she's like kind of an auteur director, and like, this is what you would kind of expect if you know like the kind of shit that she does. And she's like such a film like nerd that it's I'm not saying it's good or bad. I haven't even seen it, but uh, I I just know that like, it's like kind of her like sort of take on it, kind of like a t- right. how Tim Burton took on batman and gave it a different flavor from what people would expect it to be or whatever um yeah. but yeah i guess that's why it's so popular I, I, mean, I guess so yeah i mean my thing is and yeah you're totally right i totally agree about greta gerwig but the, this one and i i've loved i think i didn't see little women but most of her movies i've seen and i've liked this one just they really 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 hit you in the face with this idea of the patriarchy in it. And like, they just drive it home. Like, it's just, well, that was, I, I, that I get was, it. <laughs> that was the joke on the, on the pitch meeting thing. He writes patriarchy on a piece of paper, crumples it up and then throws it at the guy he's pitching it to and hits him in the face. He's like, did you just hit me in the face with the message? So it's, <laughs> literally, yes, it's exactly. Yeah. That's what, uh, that's, that's what, but Hey, do. you know what? That's hey, fine. People that, like that's, it. I and think, I'm glad they're happy. I think, and, yeah. I think you kind of need to hit people over the head now with this kind of well, stuff. I guess that's true. But like, and also that I mean, there is still kind of the part of it that is kind of what you were saying, Derson, about the, you know, like about it being about a toy or whatever. It's like we have a bunch of stuff that we grew up with that's yeah. on TV, and you know what I mean. Like so, women exactly. don't have that, and it's not that it's a binary like women thing, but like it's kind of like anybody that played with dark Barbies, like they get to go see a fun thing, and Margot Robbie is fucking gorgeous, and you know, yeah. Ryan Gosling's right. a which, handsome guy. Which kind of goes like, against just a movie <laughs> thing. The idea the movie. Just a big movie thing. And you my uh, my Oppenheimer action figure collection. Um, oh, the, the value must have gone up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I remember yeah. playing with that as a kid. We used to play. <laughs> we used to play Oppenheimer all the time. Sure. Well, but, you know, I used to do it in the. My sand. friends just we played Peaky Blinders. <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't want to belabor the point, but like. I, I, I get it. Barbie actually wasn't made for middle-aged white guys, you know, so... How I'm come okay. so many middle-aged white guys are going and seeing it? Like me, I guess. So I'm okay. And, I, let, I let them have their movie. Yeah. And, and this this thing where they, like, immediately were like, whoever came up with the Barbenheimer idea, like, it's, it's kind of genius, right? Like, it's kind of like these very kind of opposite movies, but... Everybody wants to go to see the movie. I'm surprised actually Mission Impossible wasn't in the same dialogue as like, how do you like, you know, it, it, does it didn't this, sound, yeah, I mean, you it, can't call it Barbieheimer or Mission yeah, yeah. Heimer. I just don't know why it wasn't in the, or something yeah. like that, you know, yeah. in the uh, whatever, I'm, like I'm the surprised conversation. Mission Impossible has done so poorly after Maverick did so well. And it's essentially all, almost all the same creative team. So it's weird. Yeah, it's pretty I much. Wonder, a, yeah, people are kind of like. Mission Impossible it. movie. 
I don't know. It because Top Gun had that nostalgia thing. Yeah. You know. And but people, also, you have to, you know, you have to pick. Are you gonna see? I am. It's not like you have to pick just to see any of those three movies. But I didn't pick Barbie or Oppenheimer. I went with Mission Impossible. Like oh. a lot of people aren't gonna go to the movies a lot this summer. They might see one. They yeah. might have seen The Flash and not any of these movies. You know, like they might just go once. If you see only one movie, this <laughs> we were gonna go. See, we were gonna see Mission Impossible last week. It is not playing anywhere anymore. So, yeah, that's all right. Yank them so quick. Yeah, it was two weeks. It was only two there's weeks a, afterwards. There's a whole other movie, right? Wasn't that part one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's part Shit. one. They're in trouble. Hopefully, they can play them double headers or something. Maybe. You're gotta, I mean, I don't know. Do that. I'm glad people are doing that, like you said, but I can't. That's like five hours or six hours, you know, like Oppenheimer's long enough on its own. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sit through Barbie, right. the same. Yeah. Like, I can't. Yeah, know. I can't. I oh, can't to do. It. Yeah. Like you're saying. People I, I do was, it back to back. Yeah. Thing. I was thinking about eventually in the future, like the two Mission Impossible movies. Together. Right. Right. But that would be a lot. Exactly. That would be a lot. Yeah. That would be a that's lot. also two and a half hours, you know? Yeah, it was pretty long. It's West Street. Yeah, it's almost as long as West Street. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's a whole thing. We all have stories, I guess. Yeah, That's for the do. point of this. Oh, it's a good movie. The kid stays <laughs> in the picture. Uh, so I guess I don't know if I have any other great stories to tell about seeing movies in the summer or anything like that. I guess uh, I've been to a couple of drive-ins in the summer. That's always fun, actually. I will. I will recommend that as a movie oh yeah i saw jurassic world at at a drive-in a couple years ago when we were on i was doing a dropkick murphy show we had nothing to do at night so we went to the fucking drive-in in In fact someone recommended i I will all right i'll i'll just say rachel glad okay recommended (laughs) the person on the buy nothing group who wanted earphones for their small child Suggested Rachel suggested why don't you go see, go see it in a drive-in then? Or, oh, you know, that's an excellent idea. Yeah. I, I, I thought you were gonna say that. she suggested that the person go fuck themselves. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, I think she thought about that, that and then decided, that was you know, sort of what be she better. was saying, but in a nice way. Yeah, right. She's sort of saying go fuck yourself. Don't bring your kid into a movie theater. <laughs> but she held back and actually offered a helpful suggestion. But you know, drive-ins are fun. Yeah, I enjoy the drive. As long as you don't go see one of those 4D or whatever we saw uh, when we walked out of Justice League. We yeah, but that was, thank God we walked out fast enough to get our money back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the 4D <laughs> experience thing, I hate that. That was the worst. Yeah. That's, that was like, that's like every terrible movie thing shoved into <laughs> one thing. It's like loud, flashing lights. You're getting sprayed in the face with stuff. There's like fog yeah. machines and wind and the seats move. So it's like watching a movie on a roller coaster that's splashing you. Yeah, it I wasn't it. fun at all. And the movie and like, wouldn't, it, wasn't it, good. It was, it was just so distracting that I was waiting for the next thing. I just kept looking around until I was like, this yeah. is I think we made it eight minutes in and then left. Yeah, but I, I think it's like 10. I think I made I think it 15. eight times to the theater to see that. <laughs> With my movie pass. <laughs> well, I guess if you have movie pass, that's good. I don't know. You, I mean, I bet most people get that and never go to the movies. So, like, because I was like, how could that make money? Like, it, I guess it wouldn't unless you, what do you get? Like, so many a month, right? It didn't. I mean, it's like re, it's re up now, but they ended up losing oh, okay. a bunch of money when they oh, first, right. their first. When I was doing it, they lost a bunch of money. Mm, yeah. Well, I have a friend who is like a, a whatever it is for that particular theater chain, like whatever, like AMC Movie Goers or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They just so, stole the idea and did it, <laughs> did yeah. it internally and probably make figured out a way to make money off it. Yeah. Well, I I assume a lot of people sign up and then like if you go a month without seeing a movie, then you know you've spent that money on nothing. <laughs> So, like going to the that. gym, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know. That uh, 
However, people, I, I hope people keep going to the movies. I know, John, you're not, your points are certainly valid. Yes. <laughs> but I will, you know, I will keep going to theaters. As long as there are theaters that show movies. Well, with the strike, maybe there won't be. Who knows? At least it's all bullshit. Yeah, it'll be a while bullshit. before there are movies again. Yeah. All right. Well, you got anything else? Anybody want to add? No? Um, not really. No, not really. really. I think we covered a lot of movie going. Oh, yeah, I mean, I like we did. We did see. Speaking of Justice League, though, I, I gotta say, we did go see Batman v Superman together, and the two of you were really not having a good time. So, I don't, why did we even go to see Justice League after that? I don't understand. I, probably because we were doing the podcast, I guess, and we were like, oh, we can talk yeah. about it. Yeah, I don't remember why I would see yeah. it. Maybe we're hoping it would be better because Joss Whedon was taking had took over. Right. So, but he was, what do you guys remember of of Batman v Superman? I remember what? sitting next to you and you kept laughing at it. <laughs> That's what I remember the most. Here we go. You kept laughing at all the dumb parts, and I was like, "Oh, good, Clay gets it." And then you're like, "I bought it on Blu-ray, digital, whatever, DVD, VHS, a 16 millimeter print." Uh, I bought a CR Sorry, five times. I I brought in I brought I in a little hand re, a little hand recorder. I just listened to the audio and fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I paid it's actors tape to come over to my house and do it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess I was I. What was what did I was I just? I remember getting up and going to typical get, fidget inside. I thought actually that you guys left. That, no, that's we stayed the whole time. Okay, but I, I my impression in my mind is that spiritually you left. Spiritually, you, you, yeah, you would have left if I wasn't there or something. Probably, I think we we probably yeah, would have. Because it was way down. Was we had to rug. take a. We had to go. It, we were, went down to the South Shore or something. So it was like, yeah, I know. Leaving somebody there would be weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah, see you later. Very Bye, weird. Everybody, see you later, everybody traveled like to get there. Like you know, and it wasn't even called Steve John. It was just like. Everybody drove right. there to get there. So it would have been weird to abandon someone in the movie theater <laughs> in that situation. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Well, not a fan. Oh, we, we saw. Uh, I'm looking at this one. Oh, I think we saw it because I actually liked, I liked Man of Steel. Oh, there you go. Of course and you so did. that's probably why What's I saw it. What about the like? Uh, I, I feel like if I went back and watched it now, I wouldn't like it because I felt that Captain America Winter Soldier did a Superman-esque kind of character the right way. Hmm. You know, that's sort of... And that was the one with... Where was... we? And then we all went and saw... Did we see that together? Which yeah, was the we one with saw Falcon that. in it. Yeah, that was Winter Soldier. Fist bumps. Like, yeah, we, we've seen yeah. a bunch of movies together, yeah. too, in the Marvel days. Yeah, I yeah, guess. yeah. We used to go a lot together because, like, hey, we'll talk about this on Sunday. We used to podcast every sunday oh boy that's right those are old days something to talk about yes yeah. and uh i like, still think whenever i'm doing my laundry i go i would be podcasting right now <laughs> whatever i'm doing on sunday at noon i'm like i'm riding my bike yeah. to like the office or something. i would usually be podcasting right now usually yeah. that was like 10 years ago sunday <laughs> well, I guess. but we did it for a while so yeah, we did. But yeah, we used time. to try to get together and see movie, or you know, I think on my birthday, birthday, I, I tried to get everyone to see Winter Soldier, and and that was just, fun because we yeah. they had the fun glasses. I still have those glasses. Yeah, we saw them in 3D. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we yeah. saw the second Avengers movie all together too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I uh, don't enjoy almost any of those 3D things. I think maybe because I have glasses already, I would rather just see a flat. I, give me a yeah, regular me screen. Me too. Yeah, Some, no, sometimes just, even it's yeah. like, get the super fancy one. Like maybe Oppenheimer, I'll make the exception and try to see it on film, like like as meant to be, just just to say that right. I did it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> but on it, honestly, yes, honestly, yes. But like if it's like, oh, you can see fucking, you know, ten minutes from now, just enough time for you to get there, there will be like a three D thing. I'll be like, no, just give me the small screen, flat. I want my seat in my special spot, and I don't really care how big the movie screen is. I just want to see it, and I don't want the 3D. I, it's going to give me a headache. 
I know. Well, it was a gimmick that they tried, and they could charge extra and everything like that. But it was never. Everything was so dark. It was, it was never gonna work. Yeah, I didn't know? like it. Didn't like it. But I used to just go by what time I wanted to see the movie. You know, so like if if it was playing at the time I wanted to go, and it happened to be 3D, then I would. It's like okay, fine, we'll do 3D. But yeah, it's terrible. But I, yeah, we did that a few times. You know, it was great. I remember when you see G.I. Joe one birthday year, right? Oh, yes, yes. We got everybody together. See G.I. Joe go out to eat. I like it. The second G.I. Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the We recorded rock, right? um we recorded some uh audio comic stuff at your apartment That's right. then too. Yeah. That's right. It's fun. The Spider Man and the Lizard, I think. <laughs> Clay's version of spider-man hey clay is my Whoa! Favorite. clay is my hey. favorite spider-man it's not toby Maguire. it's not tom holland it's not andrew garfield <laughs> it's clay fernal clay inferno right. rather clay inferno that's spidey all right well i think we've um yeah let's if we come up with more of it good. just uh i'll just record myself talking about a memory i'll be pl- plug this in <laughs> even there you go <laughs> even uh even i'm better than the spider-man on the electric company yeah, that oh, guy's voice. Good. That guy's voice never really suited that Spider-Man. I feel. I just remember the web. Uh, I sort of saying that because Spider-Man never spoke on there. He only spoke with oh, balloons. That's right. <laughs> Those must be on YouTube. They're, yeah, uh, they are. Right. You know, like Morgan Freeman used to be on the Electric Company, which is like the weirdest thing. So he's in a couple of. The, I looked them up a couple of years ago. Yeah. So. Wow, that's awesome. It's weird. All right. Well, anyways. Very well. Go to the movies uh, if you if you want, or I don't know, wait. Or don't. Streaming. I don't yeah. think it's going to make a huge it's difference. Your life. But yeah, right. Do what you want. Don't bring it. <laughs> Babies, don't, or yeah. I mean, if you want, uh, it's fine. Don't use your cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, don't use your phone. That's one thing I'm definitely going to say. Don't you want to learn how to get laid? That's right. That's the best <laughs> reason. You're missing out on how to get laid if you're on your phone all the time. Even if you're going to see and like, then I left, left Spectre and I'm like, sorry, kid, that wasn't, he wasn't his best. <laughs> yeah, got I mean, it was it was okay. Listen, jump forward four years from now when we do our uh, our Spectre episode and give it a listen. Yeah, right. yeah. See you, later. see you later, kid. See you later, kid. Because you obviously missed the whole movie. All right, and see you later, everybody. D- check out all of our stuff, leaguepodcast.com. Thanks to you. Uh, go Hashtag to Spotify and listen to it there. Listen to us on Spotify. Be be a man about it. Say what we need to do. You need to you need to listen to us on Spotify. Otherwise, we're gonna lose we're you know, complete interest. All right. In doing this. All right. Please listen to us <laughs> on Spotify. And then that they're like, good, yes, fine. Yeah. And then YouTube <laughs> as well. Please uh, check us out on YouTube. That's all we got. Thanks, listen, no everybody. Videos. Lady fuck.